name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be sharing a DIY that I made. It's a bathroom sign that I made for my bathroom makeover that I did on my new channel, Just On My Home. And I really love how this project turned out um, because I'm going to be using things that I already have at home, but I'm going to give you some tips and tricks of things that you can use to make it this same sign on a budget. So yeah, I hope that you like and enjoy this video. I'm going to be leaving you the link of my um, bathroom makeover on the description box just in case that you haven't seen it it is amazing so I'm going to be leaving that link in the description box in at the end of this video so yeah I hope that you like and enjoy this video so please give me a big thumbs up that really helps to support my channel and make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video remember to follow me on all my social media pages and my webpage justonmy.com and yeah let's get started with this DIY okay guys so for today's project I'm going to be using this eat sign that I bought at clearance in Walmart I think last year and it is like a giant cutting board and what I did was to cut the handle to have a perfect circle I'm going to be using the back of the sign for this project and the first thing I did was to remove the stickers that have on the back side by applying heat. That's a great tip to remove stickers, just use a heat tool and it's going to make the process super easy. From there, I'm going to be sanding all my sign with a Dollar Tree sanding sponge just to make sure that I have a smooth surface and that it is ready to paint. I decide to use a light color of paint so I use the Swervely shock paint in mineral color and I'm going to be painting all my sign and I give it two coats of paint just to make sure um, it covers well. My loves, you can also do these projects at home using any sign that you have and that you think you can reuse or maybe you can buy a round wooden plaque, they sell them in Home Depot, Lowe's and also Amazon has them in different sizes and in the description box I leave you the link of the ones that I'm talking about so you can check that, the link is going to be in the description box. Once the paint is dry, you can leave it like that if you like it, but I will use um, some white paint and I'm going to be using also a brush and I will be creating like a dry brush painting technique. It is super simple and easy to do. You can start by putting a small amount of paint on the brush and just paint your sign. You can do this painting technique with any color paint and you can add more paint to your brush just to highlight it more. Little by little until you like how it looks. From 
there you can use stir sticks and I'm going to be using two but they come in a pack of three for only one dollar at Walmart and I'm going to be using two and I'm going to place them one at each end of the of my sign and I will mark a line where I want to cut the sticks and then I'm going to cut them and I think that one of the best way to cut these um, sticks is using a Dremel um, just to give it that round shape of the edges that you're going to need if you have a round sign like me um, in the description box you can find a link of the Dremel that I'm using right now Then you can paint your sticks the color that you like the most. I'm going to be using these golden oak stain just to match the rest of the wood that I have in my bathroom. If you use stain, let it dry very well. And then I'm going to be sticking my two sticks where they're supposed to go. Um, but remember that you need to measure and just make sure that they are straight and with the same separation space between each one. Um, and to stick them, you can use maybe hot glue or you can use wooden glue to make it stronger. Finally guys, you can write what you want depending on where you want to put your sign. This is going to be for my bathroom. So with my Cricut, I made a giant decal that says bath and then I'm going to put it on the center of my sign, make sure that it's straight and then I'm going to like stick it and then I'm going to remove the transfer tape. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, it's okay. Remember that you can also use a stencil or maybe paint it by hand or paint it using marker and another great idea is to print like an extra large image from the internet of any word or any image that you like and then just trace it to your sign and guys I have done it on many occasions and it turned out great so don't be afraid to try something new or a new technique and just try to enjoy the process Guys, this will be the result of my sign and I hung it on the wall of my bathroom and I really love how it looks. It was a very easy DIY to do and so fun and this is a sneak peek of my bathroom makeover cover that I did on my other channel just on my home. Um, it is an amazing video with great tips and tricks, rental friendly projects and it's also a bit of funny because oh my god everything that happened in the process. So yeah please go and watch that video. The link is going to be in the description box and if you like this DIY please a big thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed to both channel this channel and my new youtube channel just on my home and then share this video with friends and family thank you so much for all the love and support and remember to follow me on all my social media pages the links are going to be in the description box and see you on my next video Mwah. bye guys